Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about the surface area of rectangular prisms. So what's going to happen is you're going to take a, some notes with me for the first couple of pages, and then have a chance to pause the video and try a problem on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so what exactly is surface area? Let's write down the definition of that over here. Well, surface area is the total area of all the sides. So let's write that down. So the total area of all the sides. And normally we're t when we talk about surface area, we're talking about three dimensional shapes. So let's write down 3D shapes. All right, so again, surface area is the total area of all the sides. And no normally we deal with surface area with, with 3D shapes. So take a look at this uh, diagram of a rectangular prism over here. And the first question says, how many outside surfaces does a rectangular prism have? Well, take a look at this image. And my question for you is, how many sides do you actually see? Okay. Notice there's a front side. There's a right-hand side. I'm going to put an R here for right-hand side. And then there's also a top side, right? But the thing is, though, even though you see three sides, there's actually six sides to this rectangular prism. Because there's a front, there's also a back. Because there's a top, there's also a bottom. And because there's a right, there's also a left. Okay? So altogether, there's six sides in total. And if you notice, each one of these sides actually is a, is a rectangle. All right? So what shapes are the faces? Uh, they're rectangles. And here's the big thing down here. Okay? What I've done is I've, I've taken apart this rectangular prism. And here's all the faces of the prism. And if you notice, we have two that are the the front and the back. We have two that are the, the top and the bottom. And we have two that are the uh, left-hand side and the right-hand side. And here are the dimensions of each. So notice, to get the area of this side, we do the width times the length. So let's write that in, width times the length. And we have another one down here, so width times the length. To get the area of the top side, we do the height times the length. All right. Again, we have a, we have two of them because the top is the same as the bottom. And then finally, to find the area of the right hand and left hand side, we do the width times the height. And again, we have two of those. Now, here's the big thing. All right. In order to get the total surface area, you have to add up all of these. All right. So we have two of the width times the lengths. We have two of the height times the lengths. And then we have two of the width times the heights. So that we actually use that to figure out the formula. So our formula for surface area is going to be, we're going to have two times, all right, width times length plus height times length plus width times height. All right. So again, we have two of each. Okay. So we need to add them all together and then times it by two. All right, so now, when you turn the page, and let's try a problem together here. So it says, calculate the surface area of the rectangular prism. So in order to do that, let's first write down the formula for surface area. So we know that surface area equals, right, two times the product of the width and the length plus the height and the length plus the product of the width and the height. All right. So what I like to do is I like to label the dimensions. So this the five centimeters that's going to be the the length, the eight centimeters that's going to be the width, and the four centimeters going up that's going to be the the height. So now it's just a matter of carefully plugging in what we know. All right. So surface area is going to be two times so width times length. So w is eight. Length is 5, so it's going to be 8 times 5 plus height times length. Well, again, height is 4 and length is 5. So 4 times 5 and then plus the width times the height. So the width is 8 and the height is 4. So plus 8 times 4. All right. Now, finally, all we have to do now is simplify. Now, when we simplify this, we need to follow the order of operations. So I have parentheses, I have multiplication inside the parentheses. 
So I'm going to first simplify what's inside here. So 8 times 5 is 40, so it's going to be 40, plus 4 times 5 is 20, and then plus 8 times 4 is 32. And again, we have two groups of them, right? So our surface area is going to equal now 2 times, so I'm going to simplify the parentheses, so 40 plus 20 is 60, and 60 plus 32 is 92. And then finally, the surface area is going to be 2 times 92, which is 184. Now, because we're talking about area, our label is going to be centimeters squared. And there it is. All right. So the big thing to remember, I want you to put a star over here. Here's the formula that you need to know to find the surface area of a rectangular prism. All right. So when you pause the video and try the your turn now problem, and when you're done, hit play, and you can see how you did. All right. Good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you do with this practice problem. So here we have a rectangular prism where the dimensions are two by three by six. And again, what I did is I just plugged in, okay, the values of the length, width, and height into the, the formula. So again, it's two times the product of the width and the length plus the height and the length plus the product of the width and the height. All right, if you did it correctly, you should get an answer of 72 uh, square feet. All right, how'd you do?